Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to the Libra full moon. We're almost at the peak, 11.54 a.m. PST in the USA on Saturday, April 16th, the day after my solar return. Yes, I had my day of birth and celebrated being here at this exquisite and profound time in history for humanity. Like, how amazing that we get to be alive right now to create such deep shifts with such exquisite photonic light pouring onto the planet. And y'all, this is where we are in big rebirth energies. So January, February, even March were like, whoa, they were hard. Those retrogrades in January, that was major purging, big death energy. And, you know, we continue with Pluto and Capricorn. So we're going to continue like purging the belief systems, the thought systems that have been conditioned and programmed into us from the imbalanced and destructive linear culture that we've been raised in. Right. So that's going to continue. But we've done a lot of the very deep work there. And now we get to enjoy some of this beautiful rebuilding and rebirthing energy, especially with all of the Piscean energies coming in. I mean, we've got Jupiter, Neptune, and um, Mars now in Pisces. Hello, I'm a Mars in Pisces one right here. And um, Venus in Pisces. And there's gonna be another conjunction um, towards the end of the month with Venus in Pisces. So this is, I love how this feels. I, I love the, dy the dynamic place we're in right now with the airy sun, the Libra moon, and so much Piscean energy. But we've also got with the airy sun, Libra moon, and Pluto and Capricorn, those are cardinal energies um, with that trine there. And so the theme that I'm sharing for this is balance, creation, initiation. So we're really getting some of those great balancing energies from the Libra moon right now that we've needed because we could have swung from like the depths of the linear part and the death. And even, you know, we had some really intense Aries energies before we went into this um, Piscean place with the conjunction. Um, and then we moved over to all of these dreamy energies. I mean, I have been making some big linear mistakes lately because I've been really in that spiritual space and all of that like raining down of um, spiritual energy that's been coming in with the light. Um, so this balance is so great for us. And the creation energy it's like I called it in the, our full moon ceremony today. I called it like the outlier energy. So it's like the dreams and the creations that the possibilities that are popping up in you that your linear thought mind would have never given a, like any space to like would not have even com contemplated these energies because it didn't go with the a plus b equals c it didn't go with your linear path well as we know we are spiral and we are in a multi-dimensional space and time continuum we're ageless we're timeless like screw the construct of time and so anything is available and then it's available quantumly. And if you are practicing, if you're dropping into your intentional practice, moving into embodied ascension and these higher consciousness places, then you know how beautiful the magnetization of vibrational energies is because you're feeling it. So let's enjoy these rebuilding and rebirthing energies that we're in. Even though we still have some purging going on, it's just, that's like a smaller energy. And now we're in the bigger, expansive energies that are available right now. So I just want you, if you're journaling, go ahead and I want you to go write down balance. How am I getting into balance? What's out of balance? What needs more balance? Is it your embodiment? Is it your movement energy? Is it your flow and opening up your blood, your energy, your bones, your muscles, your cells? Is it more of your spiritual connection and your spiritual practice? Or do you need to pull in a little more grounded energies into your reality unfolding, into your physical existence and experience of what you're creating 
in a concrete way. Okay, then continue, you know, magnetizing and, and opening up to the new creation energies, um, the outliers, the wild possibilities, um, and really bring them in, bring them into your space, into your energy. And then right now, especially, how do you initiate them? This is a cardinal energy that's, that really does well at initiation. So let's pull it all together. And how do we move forward? What are the steps that we take to move forward in, in what's possible and what's coming in? Oh, it's just so exciting. So let's see what the cards have to say today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. So do y'all need a little more of the spiritual spaces? Maybe even just like you need more of a repetition in the um, intentional practices, right? So the card is ceremony. And maybe you just need to be more in flow with yourself in like a deep internal space to hear and feel and sense the messages that are coming through okay because they we are dropping so deeply into our sensory navigation system which is our inherent language and out of you know just the conduit of the linear mind or the thought mind which isn't really even a conduit it's actually a place of resistance so um you know maybe it's just spending more time in ceremony to hear the messages and the creation energies and the new possibilities coming in, or it's, you know, creating ceremonies and intentional practices that become ritualized and normalized in your life so that you get to live and create from this place of ease rather than the place of efforting and resistance. So what does this mean to you? Like, where do we need more ceremony in our lives? And ceremony just, it, it means ritual. And ritual can be translated. We are doing habits every single day, all day long. So how do we make deep changes in those habits so that they become intentional practices so that they create more ease, magnetization, and manifestation in our lives because we have such a profound space to do that right now with the dyna the, the I want to say dyna the dynamic places that these energies are filling for us. And um, I did get a clarifier card, which is amazing. Forest bathing, connecting with the earth. And we have Mercury and Uranus in Taurus right now, which is such a beautiful energy, even for communication, but it's all about, and I love this, the nodal points, you know, with the North Node in Taurus, as we move towards the eclipse season, it's so beautiful because it's taking us back to this simplicity right? Like, are you getting ideas of like, what you might want to go back to, even through um, songs or smells? Or are there, you know, is, is there nostalgic energy coming up that maybe, you know, you've efforted so hard to go away from something that was so resonant with you? Okay, so forest bathing is all about, and these, there's you see those eggs on the card. That's the rebirth. That's the creation energy that comes through the earth and the earth elements and, you know, what she is trying to share with us and speak to us with. I know one of my last messages was about um, nature sending us so much energy and guidance right now. So really paying attention to the animal energy. They are so intuitive and they're so in tuned with this light coming onto the planet because they don't have the thinking mind resistance that we have. So maybe they are some of our biggest teachers right now. So just, you know, getting unified with, and I'm intentionally going barefoot as much as I can when I'm walking on the ground and laying on the grass, you know, and just even when I'm in my bed, you know, by locating myself out of the, you know, the built spaces um, into the ground beneath me because that's, we are so powerful. And these are the energies that we are inhabiting and um, emanating in our lives that you can create miracles on the reg, on the daily. Okay. So this is pretty clear. 
you know, with the rebirthing and the rebuilding of ourselves and the collective, it really is about getting back even, even into the simplicity of ceremony, of creating intentional ritual instead of habitual reaction and getting back into the earth element. We are the earth, we are nature and feeling that through ourselves, opening ourselves up, moving, creating that embodiment of what we are feeling and sensing around us at all times and being so wildly present in it. So this Libra full moon, ooh, it's good. Isn't it feel so good? Oh my gosh. So I hope you're enjoying it and these energies are only gonna continue. Um, and remember, the more you shine your light, the more you give others an opportunity to shine theirs, and the more we make deep change on the physical plane through our energy emanation. Every time you drop into ceremony and into nature and you create that space, you, you raise that energy up into the energy grid of the collective and you actually shine that out. And the more we all do this and drop into it, the quicker the evolution happens. We are the change and we get to we get to create it in every single second and every day and every day just like we have choices every single second of every day and we get to empower ourselves and find that deep fulfillment internally in our sovereignty and we take that out and we shine our light bright af Oh my gosh, this was a fun one. And I'm so excited uh, to be here with you on this wild and raw ride. I hope these messages resonated with you today. I have a beautiful digital course that I am offering a huge discount on because I've had so many people send me messages that they're feeling the energy, but they're afraid. Let's look at that word, afraid that they're not translating it or they don't know how to integrate it into their physical experience, into what they've known, like their structure that they've created. My digital course goes quantum. This is deep and I believe that you are ready, especially if you're here listening to this message, you are ready. And these are the types of practices that we drop into that actually make such a deep internal shift and change and it, it, it takes us into such a place of embodied ascension that the rest of our life unfolds with ease. I mean, I see it in the people that take this course over and over and over. Now, the course is not for you if you are not ready to be intentional and drop into a practice and create space in your life to connect deeply with these energies that are available and with the energy of you that has been waiting to be reborn. If you're not, if you do not have the space and time right now, okay, we are always evolving and you can always come back to it when you are ready. But if you are ready and if you're feeling the call and you want to go so much deeper into releasing the programming and the conditioning that has been um, suppressing our light for too long, this course is for you check out the description below or the link in my bio. I am going to be sharing this code for $100 off the launch price, probably until maybe the end of April, but definitely until Taurus season. Through the rest of every season, this is my gift to you from my solar return, from my day of birth. I am gifting you this course for $100 off the launch price. So check it out. Send me a message if you have questions, but this, I am so ready for this new earth transformation and awakening to ripple out quantumly, exquisitely, and profoundly. Thank you for being here, sending you all the peace and love. As always, I'm here for any messages. Um, and yeah, let's do this. Mwah.